Welcome to Awakening You channel. If you appreciate what we do, please support us. Thank you. Dear ones. I am Archangel Michael. For those who are listening to this video today, and have not yet started the procedure, there is still time. The important thing is that you write, make the list. And if this list lasts even one night, it will have already had its effect, the effect I want it to be. Today I'm going to talk about the bloodline. You won't fully understand why I only asked for people's blood in this procedure, but you'll have an idea. Imagine the exercise you are doing, a small tree that goes down, goes sideways, goes up. So let's do a little exercise, let's go up. We are going up, and each of you has two paths up. You are not the children of one. You are children of two. So to simplify, let's say that you have half of each one, to make it easier. Let's take one of the halves and let's go up. So you had your mother, your mother is half her father and half her mother. So it also has two lines up. So if you start to draw this line upwards, have some paper, because there are a lot of people, because each family that comes together, and generates a new being, this new being brings everything that was left behind from its ancestors. These are concepts, my brothers, that you have not yet had, because your science only cares about explaining that you have a strip of DNA. But I'm going to talk about the energetic part of this DNA. Not the physical part, the molecules that make it up, no, I'm going to talk about the ethereal part of this great tape. Your cells store all the energy you produce in terms of feelings. Each one of them, each cell receives its joy, its sadness, its pleasure, its failure, all the feelings that you feel as human beings, each one of them. Let's imagine that you have a pigeonhole, where each feeling that arrives is placed on its shelf. There is a shelf of sadness, there is a shelf of joy, there is a shelf of hunger, there is a shelf of happiness, there is a shelf of depression, and so on. It's a big box where each shelf accumulates a type of feeling. Each cell has a shelf like this and they all store the same way. When feelings pass from one being to another, what is passed? A cell is passed that has this information. So, this information is perpetuated, they pass from father to son. So all those feelings, everything you went through, all the anger, all the hate, is passed through your cells. Then many will say, Ah, that's nonsense. That does not exist. It's my brothers, the information is reaching you, it's up to you to believe it or not. But that's what happens. I'll give an example here, two children are born to the same father and the same mother. An extremely loving, extremely organized, almost perfect son, the other exactly the opposite, angry, vengeful. Then you usually say, but how can that be? They were raised with the same father and the same mother. They had the same education. Why are they so different? Why are they so different? Because they are different souls. It is not the body that determines what you will be. So those cells came out identical. I agree, they came from the same father and mother. That little box came in all the cells, exactly the same. So theoretically the children would have to be equal. But each cell has a soul attached to it, which is not always a soul you know, it is often a soul that enters your family to learn, to teach, it was never part of her lineage, and she goes there to learn some lessons. That's why it's so different. Then this soul attaches itself to these cells that came with the pigeonhole like the brother's pigeonhole. But because it is an angry, vengeful soul, the pigeonhole of these cells changes, his brother's remains practically the same and this brothers, they are completely changed for the worse. And then this passes forward, because now new cells are being passed on. So my brothers, what is blood lineage? The blood lineage is the entire path that cells follow. They are changed according to the souls they absorb. So, when we say, ah, you have a lot from your ancestors, you do, because everything that came to you comes from one of your ancestors. It doesn't matter if he was good or bad, came from him. And this is spreading. If it happens, for example, 
that this pigeonhole of this brother who was vindictive, sticks to a pure soul, a charitable soul, he will suffer a lot, because he will have to erase all this suffering that is inside. And then she pays with suffering, with pain, and then she cleans this bin. Ah, yes, my brothers, you can tidy up this little box again, you just need to change yourselves, do good deeds, change your thoughts. And then when you have a good thought, a little ball is taken from that bad shelf, and then you change the bin, and then the next one moves on. So my brothers, this is how it happens. So why are we talking about bloodlines, if everything changes with each person born depending on their souls? Because you have been bringing all this burden that came from the first one, no matter who he was, and no matter when he was born. Imagine this, over the ages you have accumulated several balls on those shelves. That first little ball, the first, from the first one born, is down there. Others came from above. The one down there is so old it turned to stone, but it's there. She is there. It has not been changed, because there are so many that it has not been changed. So if that first one was bad, you had bad feelings, you have them in your closet, whether you like it or not. So my brothers, this is how it works. You bring information from your ancestors. Yes, it's not the blood issue. Blood, when I say blood, it was so that you understand, that you have to see your ancestors. How am I going to explain to you that you have to analyze the cells that came from your ancestors, etherically speaking? Nobody will understand anything. So I need to talk about blood lineage, because the next procedure, you're going to clean up this little box. I'm already anticipating what will be next. It's time to fix that. It's taking that stone, that feeling so old that it turned into stone, out of that little box. It's as if you took this pigeonhole and turned it upside down. And clean it all up. So you're going to be taking out any and all ancestor burdens that you may have brought, and you're going to start putting in only your stuff. Those feelings you start to store. Look my brothers, you have no idea what the result of this procedure is. It's an absurd lightness. It's incredible lightness. So how can I, in a process like this, talk about adoptive people? I'm not talking about love. At no point did I say, oh, you're only going to put the blood ones, because they're the ones you love the most. Did I say that at some point? No, I didn't. It's just a treatment that will have to be done with all the cells, with all the feelings of those who came from above, from your tree, from your trees, because there are many, there are thousands, and you have a little bit of each one. Not even a thousandth, but you have it. So I can't talk about adoptive people here. You have a bad habit of judging before you know what it is. It's not because of love that I'm separating anyone. I'm just preparing you for the next procedure. Only that. Maybe this wasn't clear in your minds, my brothers, but you are the sum of everything you brought from your ancestors, whether you wanted to or not. That's how it works. That's how it works. Now do you have a way to change this? He has. And that's what we will do. So that's just the reason. There is no other. It's not due to lack of love nor separation. It would be a great joke for me to separate. I just know what I'm doing and what is needed for treatment. The treatment is for blood, it is for you to treat this bloodline that you have from your ancestors. That is the purpose. My brothers, this is a very simplistic way of putting things. Linked to this are many other things. Lots of. But I will not comment on these now. Only during the next procedure. For now many of you are not seeing anything, ah, nothing has changed for me. Excellent. For some it has changed for the better. Great too. And for some it changed for the worse, and then they ran away. He doesn't understand what is being done. The water you drink every day is to flush out all this dirt. This procedure has several functions. It's not just the list. It has the function of houses which you don't know what it is, and won't know for a while. Nobody understood the reason for the houses, later on, 
you will understand. I can't talk about this for now. Now the water is to flush out the dirt that is inside. Ah, you often have no idea what's hidden inside. The time has come to come out, and I just tell you, I would come anyway. Only this procedure advanced the process, because I already told you that everyone is being treated to move to the fifth dimension. It's not just who is doing the procedure. Everyone, regardless of whether they want to or not. If you observe, try to observe, that there are people around you who are in despair, that you don't understand anything and that life has turned upside down, and that nothing works anymore, and that he is feeling ill, and n other things, and there is no procedure. It is because? Because of the treatment that is being done to all of you, so that all this dirt that is inside comes out. Everyone is going through this. Some pass more easily. Others have a more difficult time, depending on the lesson to be learned. Then the procedure only accelerated, predicted what would happen up ahead. Now my brothers, I repeat again, you have free will. Follow whoever you want. Do whoever you want. Believe whoever wants to. This is not the focus. I want here, following my messages, someone who really believes in what is being said, who respects what is being said, who has love for what is being said. Whoever doesn't want to listen, whoever doesn't believe, I can't do anything and I won't do anything. I will not punish anyone for not doing the procedure. This doesn't exist. There is no punishment from above. The choice is yours. If you want to believe and do it because you think it's good for you, great, I welcome you with open arms. Now you don't want to believe it, you don't want to do it, i l l still welcome you with open arms if you ask for my help. I won't judge you for that. This does not exist for us. It's not me who loses, it's you who stopped doing it. Because you could have a much greater advantage than you have today. But if you want it that way, no problem. My brothers, limiting beliefs are still very strong, but rest assured that little by little they will fall. Little by little, you will see, and you will believe everything that is being said. We are just not irresponsible, so that things happen in a laborious and inconsequential way. There is still a lot to do before everything happens. We know you are anxious. Many are scared to death because they don't know what's coming. You don't have to be afraid. My brothers. You have to have love in your hearts, not fear. Because fear only delays the process, and only takes you further and further down. I am Archangel Michael. And I make a challenge here, anyone who wants to believe that I am the one speaking, ask me for proof, the moment they hear this message. Ask me, Archangel Michael, show me that it is you who is speaking. And I will show. Now. Don't be afraid of what you will see. I remain here with open arms, waiting for anyone who wants my help.